Last summer, Ashley Pearson was charged with the murder of her boyfriend, Kyle Hill. On the night Kyle died, he met his mother for drinks to celebrate her birthday at a neighborhood bar. He returned to the home he shared with Alison and the couple's son and Alison's daughter from a previous relationship after midnight on September 15th, 2018. The couple reportedly had a fight. Kyle, a convicted felon, allegedly came home that night and beat Ashley, threatening the little girl. Ashley admits frantically swinging the knife to stop him advancing, resulting ultimately in his death. This week, Ashley attended a stand your ground hearing and the judge agreed that she had in fact acted in self-defense and sent her home to her children. For me to judge right now, uh, at, you know, first of all, I, I checked that box. Uh, she's checked that box. Uh, said so repeatedly uh, to people in interviews. Um, nothing very inconsistent about it at all. I, I don't know how soon you have to say it when the police arrive, but uh, um, I'm not sure she's even sure what she did, uh, her testimony, but um, she did believe she had saved the life of her child. So the question then becomes uh, whether or not the use of force was objectively reasonable. And of course it, of course it was. Um, there really isn't any question about that. Uh, from the evidence that I see here today, uh, it was objectively reasonable. It would have been to me objectively unreasonable not to have done something. Uh, the only evidence I've heard is that he was in that vortex of, of violence that night that he'd been in, you know, for a good portion of his life. And that, uh, that unfortunately, uh, now Ms. Pearson had to, had to do something she obviously didn't want to do. She wasn't prepared to do it. And, and broke down afterwards, started calling the mom to get 911 called, and all of that. She wasn't trying to hide anything, she just collapsed. So, um, long story short, I'll write an opinion about this. Um, uh, it'll be, you know, probably better than what I'm announcing here, but uh, this is a pretty easy one for me. Uh, that the uh, defense's motion for immunity is granted and the case is dismissed. You are free to go. This hearing's concluded. Oh if you enjoyed this video, please take the time to like and subscribe. Thank you.